All right, y'all. What's going on? What's going on? We're back with another one. This is Up Church. Only I can stop me. And I know he finna talk. I know he finna get into something, you know, big. So on that note, let's go and see what he got to say. You know, this morning I did wake up mad. And I did contemplate retiring. Until I drove around and thought about it. These motherfuckers want to get rid of me. They want, they want my shit being banned. They want me not being on the internet. But it ain't gonna fucking matter. Yeah, it do. Sounds like that's what they want. You know, they saying this, they saying that. They trying to get them banned. They trying to get them canceled or whatever you want to call it. It do seems like that's what they trying to do to church, you know. But, you know, he an independent artist. You can't ban or cancel an independent artist. No matter how much you can't stand this person, no matter how much you don't like this person, you can't ban or cancel an independent artist because they do it themselves. They ain't got no label to promote it or nothing like that. Like, straight up. It just can't ain't happening. Now, if that artist on the label... Then you can, it's the possibility of banning or counseling because their labor, their labor ain't going to go for that, you know, kind of public eye stuff. And you know what I'm saying? It's all in the public eye. They ain't going to want their label looking bad. So, yeah, they, they you might be able. It's a big possibility of getting somebody counseled with, on a label. But an independent artist, no. There's no way. Because they doing it all by themselves. They ain't help getting promoted by another, you know what I'm saying, somebody else, another company or something. They doing everything by themselves. Go ahead, take me off every fucking thing. It's not going to fucking matter. Because I go buy a fucking tour bus and I'll just fucking sell shit by hand, motherfucker. I ain't fucked up with working. Huh. This shit's my fucking livelihood. Some people on here are like, oh, well, look at him boohooing about Instagram. Motherfucker, that's what promotes my music. That's what sells my music. I don't give a fuck if it sells or not. I just want somebody to fucking hear it. And that's a difference between me and these motherfuckers. <laughs> Stacking 30 motherfuckers in a room to come up with a shitty ass fucking hit song that everybody gonna fucking be sick of fucking hearing in two weeks. Fact. Facts like, like I just said, church of independent artists. And when he make music, he want people to it continue to listen to it months, years after it's been promoted. Like, what the labels do, they get a a person to do like a TikTok song that somebody only gonna listen to about the month, uh, maybe a month and a half, maybe even a couple weeks at that. Then it's gone to the next song. On to whatever else out there trending. You don't hear about that song no more. But what Church trying to do is put his stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? Most of these new artists is one hit wonders. That they again they make one hot trendy song. Then once they die down, you don't hear about them. You know what I'm saying? Church said he been in the game with over ten years. Like that's a long time. And not just in the game, in the music industry. He doing it all by himself. He doing it all by himself. Like, straight up. Stacking 30 motherfuckers in a room to come up with a shitty ass fucking hit song that everybody gonna fucking be sick of fucking hearing in two weeks. <laughs> everybody making one thirteenth of a fucking penny. Stupid motherfuckers. Just write your own shit. That's why they want to get rid of my ass because I could do for, I could do the job of thirty motherfuckers faster. That's why. Think I give a fuck if anybody in the comments believes me or not? It's true, motherfucker. The proof is right in front of everybody's face. If you don't see it, it ain't my fucking problem. That's your fucking problem. They can take me off whatever, dude. It don't matter. Delete me off Instagram over and over. 
after I done built built these platforms up to promote my music. Go ahead, take me off. I'll go buy a motherfucking tour bus and sell shit out of my trunk, like I said a minute ago. I don't give a shit. You think I won't go buy half a million uh, fucking hard copies and drive around and sell them motherfuckers out of my hands? Bullshit. Yeah, the fuck I will. He will. Like, straight up. Like, you can't stop an independent artist. Like, there's no way. And they trying to. Like, they say they took him off Instagram and stuff. They trying to because he speak the truth. They hate it when the artists speak the truth. And don't go back. Don't apologize. You know, most of the artists will say something and then go back on their way and be like, you know, I apologize for such and such. Once church says it, he stands on it. He don't go back and apologize or nothing. The artists that sign to labels is puppets. I'm telling you, they is puppets. And church, he an independent artist. He do what he want to. And that's how every artist should be. Try, try it on your own before you try to get help from others. Because nowadays, it's about money. If you ain't making money off your song, you know what I'm saying? They throw you to the side, even though you trying. So that's what I'm saying. Try it on your own. I don't care what nobody thinks. And yeah, they'll, they'll say shit like, oh, look, he's falling off this, that, and the other. Man, I don't give a fuck. Keep saying it. It's, it doesn't It don't matter to me. The fuck do I care what you think? Look around. I ain't got to explain nothing to sh fucking nobody. All I care about is that the music's getting in the right people's ears who need to hear it and want to hear it. I think I give a shit what fucking somebody thinks. I don't. All that drama, y'all can have that shit. I'm here to fucking work. And everybody knows I'm here to work. That's why I'm such a fucking threat. Because I'll outwork the next motherfucker. Somebody asked me yesterday at the gas station. He, he dude came up to me. He said, he said, you came from the bottom, right? You came from doing construction and shit. I was like, yeah. He goes, so tell me, how'd you do it? I said, I knew what I wanted to do. And all you got to do is, if there's somebody around you that's working hard, work harder than them. That's it. That's the answer. <coughs> and as a, as a fucking billboard charting artist who's sold hundreds of thousands, millions of fucking, you know, songs. Yeah, I will. I will go buy a tour bus and fucking sell the shit out of my hand. I ain't fucked up with it. That's the difference between me and everybody else that's in the fucking game. I have my own fucking ideas. I ain't calling five motherfuckers to help me have an idea about something. There's a fucking... There, it's all a fucking facade, dude. It's all a facade. They only block motherfuckers out that are actually... They only block people out that's a threat, dude. If you're not a threat, you get let in, and they give you a part to fucking play. And as long as you play that part, you'll have a job. Facts. As long as you play your part. If you're not a threat to them, they give you a part, baby, but you got to play your part. Because they feel like you ain't playing your part, and you if you start becoming a threat to them. And it be most artists that's woke that become a threat to them because they see the bullshit. Like, straight up. But I, most of the artists sleep and thinking like, oh, this is how I'm going to make it. This I can get this money. And they see money. But they don't see what's on their contract, really. Especially with labels. That's why I always tell y'all, y'all got to stay woke, like, straight up. Job there. But guess what? That's as far as it's ever going to go. You got to be on the outside. You got to be free thinking. You got to have your own fucking ideas. You got to figure out shit for yourself. That's how you become a fucking beast in the game. That's the only way to become a beast in the game. Look at it. Look at everybody in the past. The only motherfuckers who are icons are people who rebelled against shit. Who's a fuck? Name me one icon that fucking listened to everything that their record label or whoever told them to fucking do. Facts. The only people that are icons is 
artists that rebel against shit. Facts. Facts. They ain't, they ain't as much of a fucking icon as the person who was rebellious. That's for sure. Because a rebellious motherfucker can think for themselves. So go ahead. Take me off everything. It ain't gonna fucking matter. Because I'll outwork that ass. Facts. Hey, and he mean it. Like... Take me off everything. I'm still going to sell my CDs. I'm still going to sell my music. I'm still going to make sales. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, take me off everything. That ain't going to stop me. And it ain't going to stop him. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. And on that note, y'all already know. Catch me in the next video. I'm out.